Hello there, everyone. My name is Crazy Caleb, and welcome to Validation. Today, I'm continuing on with my needy arc, uh, and today we're going to be taking a look at this guy, no Validation. Now, the thing with needy Validation is that you actually can't select it like a normal module and zoom in on it, but rather you can always select this at any given time uh, and change it from invalid to valid freely. But the way that this module works is actually a bit different from normal needies, and what it essentially does is it is kind of a threat that sticks around the entire bomb, um, and it does work similar to an ED. However, the fact that th the fact that this need does not reset, it will not count down, nor will it make a five second time of warning. This need will remain active until the bomb is disposed of, unless any module fails validation. Now, how exactly do we determine if a module is valid or not? Well, uh, a module's validity is determined by the first character of its title. Any names evaluated in the module has had the has had the removed from the beginning of the name. So, for example, if you have to do the cube. Um, and it gives you just cube. So that's all you would be considering here. You're only going to consider the first character in its title, not considering the. And the module is valid if the character derived from the method described above is present in the selected table from below. And how exactly does the selected table work? Well, what we have here is we have a displayed number, which will be displayed up in the timer position here, which you will see in just a moment, and the LDD statuses. Uh, and this will be included in the bottom left and bottom right. They will start off as black as default, and they will be considered white if they are lit. So, that's what it's going to give us. And now, the needy has just activated here. And note that you can see that it, it does not count down whatsoever. Uh, the displayed number is a 1. And the left LED only is the lit one here. And this character gives us the valid characters. So, for example, let's take a look. We have Lima Sierra Alpha, Tango November Mike, Oscar Bravo... If any of these modules have that as their first letter, in the, has it have the first letter of the name, uh, not just in the name, but as the first letter in the name, uh, then it will be turned, it will be uh, flipped to valid before it solves, and then it will consider that self valid. So, for example, if I were to solve set, because s dot e dot t is the way that the module is spelled, s is the first character in its name, therefore this would be considered valid. So, if I were to solve this right now. And I had this, and I had the needle, the needle set to uh, valid. That would therefore work. So that's essentially what you're going to be doing with this thing. You can do the exact same thing with Minesweeper. Minesweeper would be considered valid. Uh, double O would not be considered valid. We would therefore set that to invalid. So you can kind of just do this willy nilly. You can solve whatever you want to. It's not a big threat on the bomb. Just make sure that you remember the characters that are valid and the ones that are not valid. So that's very simple. So in this case, to start us off, I'm actually going to do Hitman. Hitman, in this case, is not present. There is not an H present in this table here. So therefore, this is going to be marked as invalid. So we're going to set that to the left there. This is Craig Black. And just like that, no strike was given. It was set to the correct position. And as you can see, one of the, one of the other important things I should mention is that this needy will never, ever change uh, unless you happen to fail, to fail a validation because then the needy will deactivate. And when the needy reactivates, uh, revalidate your valid characters from the chart below. That's the only case where the needy uh, will actually give you a different display number and a series of different LEDs. Uh, just remember that you don't want that to happen. And I'm here to teach you to not have to make that happen. But it will give you different characters. Just keep that in mind. So let's continue on. Um, let's do a let's do set. Let's set that to valid. Um, uh, this one is very interesting, so we are we can already tell that there's going to be the exact same colors here. Um, X uh, X ray X ray TP hotel. Yep, that's good. It was set to valid. S was the first character in its name, therefore it was in the correct position. No strike was given, so we're good to go. Um, let's do color one two. Let's just get that one done. Uh, color one two. Uh, now Charlie is not in this in this in the series of valid characters, so therefore we're going to set it to invalid. Uh, next up, we have, so for this one, we have green as our column and blue as our row. That is a one. That's good to go. No strike was given. Module's not been deactivated. Let's do double O. Double O is an invalid one as well. This should work. Set to invalid. It's good to go. Next up, we've got emoji math. Emoji will work. Uh, emoji is invalid in this case. Echo is not present in here. So let's do emoji math real quick. All right, this is, I'm going to use my phone calculator for this. We have uh, 47 plus uh, 75, 122. 
uh, invalid. It's good. And that's good to go. And finally, my sweeper is what's left. And in this case, my sweeper starts with Mike here, and therefore that is one of the one of the letters that appears in this valid position here. So therefore, we're gonna set our validity to valid. And then just like that, let's solve this bomb. So we have um, second digit is a nine, one, two, three, four, five, uh, orange, two plus eight is gonna be 10, cool. Alrighty, set to valid, just make sure, yep. Okay, looks pretty easy. And there we go. And just like that is a solved bomb. That's all there really is to it. It's a very simple and easy to do. I wouldn't even really consider it an easy. I would just consider it as like, a, I, I would almost consider it almost like a boss in a way, but it really is not the biggest threat in the world. Just make sure that you know what you're solving and how it's solving uh, and what the name of it actually is. So, uh, and make sure that it is of course valid. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>